Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. And I am talking over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times. It is Monday, August 7th, 2023. It is now 2 o'clock in the afternoon for the past six and a half hours. I have been uh, dealing with uh, th th this fucking job being an, a vacation rental super host as my uh, new chosen career. So my, my latest disaster is, and I have people coming in in an hour and a half. I'm trying to hold them off. Uh, so, I th these people have been, these very nice people have been celebrating supposedly their third anniversary up in my Blue Dragon tiny house. And so I haven't been up there in several days. And so they checked out last night. I have other people coming in today. So I went up there to spend the night last night. And all of the wind, which I, I don't understand this. <coughs> these people go out, come out here to the woods, <clears throat> rent these tiny houses in the woods, and then shut all the windows, <coughs> pull all the curtains, whatever. So the place was absolutely shut up tight with no airflow coming through it. So I get up there at midnight last night to spend the night in uh, in Blue Dragon before the, this next wave. There will be people in Blue Dragon every night for at least the next 12 nights. This reminds me, Pasquale, do you ever check your email, brother? Pasquale, check your email and get in touch with me. And uh, so anyway, I go up there and I walk in and it, and I smell this goddamn stink. I'm like, what the fuck uh, is, is this stink? It should smell like, you know, fresh air blowing through the place. So we have this feral tomcat uh, prowling around. I honestly thought this goddamn uh, feral tomcat had somehow gotten in to the uh, tiny house and sprayed his goddamn tomcat piss all over the place. And uh, you can imagine uh, what uh, kind of mood that put me in. So I open up all the goddamn windows. I had this big, beautiful rainstorm and all of the fresh air blowing through. So I had a... Uh, fine evening so I get up this morning and try to get to the bottom of this tomcat cat smell and well, what it is is not a tomcat at all it's this fucking yeti ice chest that I used to how many rants have I had about this goddamn yeti ice chest when I was living in the back of this truck when the uh, the plug the drain plug would come un, would become loose uh, at the bottom of the thing and the goddamn melting ice would drain out soak my mattress and everything so anyway what has been happening and I don't even know how fucking long this has been going on for could have been going on since all fucking summer uh, you know I had the the Yeti cooler like a goddamn fool inside the tiny house sitting on the carpet. And then the carpet was sitting on top of another carpet. So it was two layers of carpet. And then I had nailed down the fucking carpet. So what has been going on for no telling how long is that fucking Yeti cooler ha has been soaking through uh, both of the carpets all the way into the damn 
wooden decking uh, underneath the goddamn carpets, this fucking uh, waterlogged mess, moldy fucking mess is now spread over an area about four feet by four feet. Uh, good fucking God. And then, of course, uh, I, I'm, I'm freaking out. I, you know, I get the goddamn hammer, rip the goddamn nails back, and start peeling back looking at this shit. And then, of course, what now what I've done is just stirred up everything. I've just stirred up the fucking stink and, and all of this shit. I, I'm goddamn freaking out. The, the fucking, uh, both the carpets are wet and moldy and fucking smelling like cat piss and I'm and getting a goddamn steak knife and ripping out the lower piece of carpet uh, you know I'm spraying fucking Lysol all over the goddamn place I'm putting a goddamn fan on everything and now I'm off to the goddamn store to the fucking uh, off to fucking Home Depot or wherever the fuck I am going, try, trying to find some goddamn carpet deodorizing shampoo and all of this shit. Got people coming in in a fucking hour and a half. Uh, you know I, I, I've been I've been dealing with this fucking shit since 9:30 this fucking morning. It's going on 2:30 in the fucking afternoon. And, uh, Jesus fucking Christ, uh, my goddamn life, what it's turned into. And, uh, this goddamn working for a living, there is, I was just reading all of these long comments from, uh, what's your name, Z30, about, uh, you know, talking about the existential horror of working for a living. I was on uh, watching this YouTube last night, which has racked up 14 million views in the last three weeks. 14 million views. This dude, he's touring uh, the single poorest county I think in the United States, it's the poorest county, at least in West Virginia, and, and I'm thinking in the U.S., so what do you think is the median income of the single poorest county, certainly in uh, West Virginia, Appalachia, if not the entire country, it's McDowell County, uh, West Virginia, and the median income is $25,600 a year. And, and I'm looking at these fucking hillbillies. Uh, they, you know, these goddamn hillbillies with their second grade educations and shit. Thinking, I wish the fuck uh, that, that, that I was making $25,600 a year. Uh, you, you know, piecing together... If I, if I piece together uh, my Social Security, I make $880 a month Social Security, whatever it is I make on YouTube at this point. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I want to send out a big thank you once again to Obsolete Optics for his very kind PayPal gift, which is, so uh, brother, I'm, I'm going to be spending your very kind PayPal gift, buying fucking uh, carpet shampoo and room deodorizers is where your kind gift is going. And uh, so I add that up and, and my vacation rental uh, business. If I, I, there is a chance, a slim chance, uh, that they, but the absolute outside. Uh, if, if I really push it and have a good September uh, with the vacation rentals, I might be making the median income uh, uh, of a goddamn uh, redneck hillbilly in uh, the poorest county 
in, in West Virginia, if not the goddamn country. This is what I'm doing with my fucking five years of college, my 148 IQ, my real estate licenses in three states. You know, this shit that I'm doing with this goddamn sheet washing and carpet cleaning and uh, cleaning out the fucking outhouses and carrying people's bags of shit, uh, uh, you, you know, up there to the humanure box. Uh, you know, I, I could sell one fucking house, one fucking house uh, in Austin, Texas, one commission check. And I would make as much money as I'm going to make in uh, six months of, uh, of doing this. Uh, good fucking God. Talking about the uh, existential despair of working for a living. But then there's the, you know, this is another one of those goddamn paradoxes. Uh, one of those conundrums. The uh, the only thing that's as big of an existential despair uh, as working for a living is not working for a living. You know, in this, I'll put the, I'll find this, uh, I'll find this uh, YouTube video because it is good. It's an hour long. I I highly recommend it. You know, talking about. Uh, particularly how these young kids in Appalachia that uh, about half of them are, are out there you know in some fucking dead end minimum wage fucking hellhole job uh, the old timer coal miners are, are still hanging on uh, you know literally killing themselves uh, in the process of killing the planet and uh, you know to be a fucking uh, 18 year old in McDowell County fucking Kentucky and talking about they were just uh, estimating 50 to 65 percent of, of these kids down there, it, it, it's just absolutely fucking hopeless, and there, and there, there's just a major, major fucking uh, drug abuse epidemic. You know, Chris Hedges was writing about this years ago. You know, talking about the sacrifice zone, and they're talking about in this uh, documentary how since Corona panic, it would just put the final nail uh, in, in the coffin. And, and that one half to two thirds of, the, uh, of these young kids, uh, that's their fucking choice, is uh, to, to figure out uh, some bullshit way of gaming the system and, and you know, getting some sort of disability check uh, you know, just to keep them in poverty and keep them, you know, just enough money to buy their goddamn fentanyl in uh, in all of this, and you know, living at home uh, till they're fifty, and then you know, uh, interviewing these other kids uh, who are out there. You know, fucking working for a living, uh, usually at the goddamn 7-Eleven, because there's, uh, there, there's nothing fucking else available. I mean, uh, work till you drop. Life's a bitch, then you die. Oh, God, look at this. Fucking toilet rings uh, in my seat. Goddamn uh, sheet shampoo. Fucking toilet rings. Going in here and buying a goddamn uh, carpet deodorant. Carpet shampoo and room deodorant. And uh, spending my whole fucking life. Uh, I should be out there. You know, hacking trails, 
uh, through the goddamn wilderness getting out there and enjoying it while I still fucking can and I'm going into some fucking uh, hardware store. Oh, uh, God. Uh, just imagine being fucking 18 years old. Uh, and, and, and goddamn Appalachia looking at your fucking life, looking at your fucking future. Uh, anyway, that's my day. Get out there and either uh, work till you drop or get out there and game the system and let the taxpayers uh, support your lazy fucking ass. Enjoy your fentanyl while you still can because we are so fucked. Bye guys.